today we're heading off to uh, Shorewater Bay. The tide's pretty low at the moment here and uh, I'm, uh, it's about, I think I'll only have a little bit of uh, water under the bar over me so I'll have all the, everything up. I think I'll have, probably have four or five hundred over the bar. Uh, this, this, they said today there's going to be a, a southwester of 20 knots but I can't see anything at the moment. I've kind of hung on as long as I can. It was freezing this morning, so I stayed in bed. I was meant to set off at uh, about 6, but it must be about uh, 7 30, 8 o'clock now. So we're, we're just about to head off. like I might have left it a bit too late. We'll see. Rizaka Resorts in there and uh, the beaches from Yipun stretch down to Kirio Park all the way and off a Rizaka Resort I can only see one person that's actually on the beach so, and it's a lovely day so obviously the old uh, resort's not doing too well The Keppels are a great place to go. They're not as far north as the uh, Whitsundays. And the other good thing about the Keppels, there's fantastic walking on both islands. On Great Keppel Island, you could spend a week just walking all. Hey. Yeah, it is. Just taking a little photo of you. What, what are you going for there? Snapper or just? Did you? All right then, I better put, I, have you tried a skirt? Is a skirt in lieu of the way to go or just one of those? Yeah, just a little silver lure. Yep. Okay, I'll give it a go. Yeah. No, no, we didn't go before yesterday. 
Were they? Well, good luck. Well, I've deployed my uh, my uh, mackerel line, and the tinny that was we just passed. You know, he uh, he passed me in the film, you know, just off Osaki, and he must have anchored right in front of me. And uh, while I was filming the keppels just now and everything, I heard oi, oi, and he was about uh, 25 meters in front, going smack at him, you know, with me autopilot. So. I didn't expect any him to be there, you know, but because uh, I've had a good look and there was nobody there 10 minutes before, but it just shows you. Just passed me and then dropped anchor. He's uh, I haven't seen him catch anything yet, so maybe the mackerel aren't around at the moment. Looking forward, looking north, you can see there there's a beautiful beach there all the way along here all the way up to uh, Kirio Bay and from the end of the beach there's a bar and uh, it goes out a long way in order to, you've got to go around that in order to go into Kirio Bay that's Kirio Bay in there and that's the headland of Kirio Bay And that's Kiria Bay Little Beach and then there's Nine Mile Beach just past the headland. Just uh, sailing kind of parallel along the beach here at Nine Mile Beach. I love to, I really find it uh, good fun just go sailing really close to the beach and doing the beach combing on, with a pair of binoculars. You never know what you might see and you can always stop and pick it up if you think it's worthwhile. There's not much wind at the moment. I'm anchoring uh, behind Five Rocks, uh, which is, uh, it looks quite sheltered for tonight, hopefully, if we don't get any wind from the north. There's a couple of four-wheel drives on the beach in here, and uh, a couple of skin divers in on the point. miles today and uh, probably averaged only about three knots if that very light winds right behind us it's just a painful day but we're in a lovely anchorage now and hopefully we'll be able to we'll be able to hold out the night here they reckon it's going to turn to a northerly tomorrow but we haven't got too far to go to uh, Port Clinton now so uh, we, you know I'm 
it, these are easy legs along this part of the coast, so uh, it's uh, the pressure's off. I can do 20 miles a day or 40 miles a day, it doesn't matter. I came in here because the sun was still up, nice place, tried to have a fish along the uh, side here, never caught anything with a popper and uh, had a great day.